Hi, my name is Harpreet. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can skyrocket your productivity for your furniture design initiatives using Swoot Design. Swoot Design is an add-in that gets added to SolidWorks, and it comes with a set of libraries that are showing up in my task pane here. It comes with smart assemblies, it comes with panels, it also comes with connectors and other kind of smart assemblies, as well as specific materials that are applicable to wood. And let me show you how you can create a closed cabinet fairly quickly in Swoot Design and also manipulate its size as well. So I'm going to right click here under my frames and I'm going to click new. And what it's going to do is it's going to add a new component, new object to my library, which I can use it later on down the road. And for now, I'm going to give it a name called closed cabinet. I'm going to right click on it, say edit, and it's going to open up my assembly. And as soon as it opens up the assembly, you can see that it's not an ordinary assembly. It comes along with this set of planes that bound the volume of your assembly. And as I change the size of these planes, this, the components that are added to this assembly will change along with the size of the frame as well. So let me give you the idea of how I would edit the size of this frame. I will go into my command manager and I will click on edit frame. And then I can change the size of it here. I can change the width, I can change the height, I can also change the depth. But let's go ahead and start adding some components to it before we actually change anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on create new panel and my panel inserting interface shows up on the left side. So I can either add a free hanging panel that comes up with its own triad then I can add it wherever I like, or let me delete this one first, or I can add a position panel. And what it does is it creates an imaginary frame or a cabinet around the frame and it adds panels on top of it. So I can click on any of these panels on my interface on the left side. So let me click the left at uh, the top one. And as soon as I click the top one, it will position the panel on the top side of the interface. I can change its size by clicking on any of these, any of these arrows and dragging it around. And as soon as I put it, my cursor in touch with a plane, it will create a mate here and I can do so here or there are keyboard shortcuts that I could use to add it fairly quickly. And I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut and all of my mates are defined. And now I'm gonna add another one and this time I'm gonna add here. Let me add, make a connection here and I'm going to define it as well. Let me add another one on the right side. And I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, one at the bottom. And one here and that gets added as well. Now you can see how easily I'm able to add all of these panels and set them in my assembly using Swift Design. And not only that, I can also resize these panels as well based on the overall size of my assembly. Let's say tomorrow I realized I actually don't want a width of 800 millimeters. I want a width of 1200 millimeters. So then in that case, it will change the size accordingly. Now, if I want, I can add more components to it. So there is this different kind of smart assembly that gets added in Swoot, which is called Swoot Box. And what it does is it, it comes with, along with its own programmable set of options in it, that as soon as you add it, you can change those options. And as, as you change those options, it will change the behavior as well. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to go into my folder here and I'm going to choose my group assembly. I'm going to right click on it and say insert Swoot Box. Now, as soon as I say insert Swoot Box, just like Swoot Frame, it has a bounding volume as well, and it highlights the bounding volume it's going to add. So in my case, I'm actually going to add, choose this as my bounding volume, the highlighted one, and I'm going to click OK. And it adds a shelf here, as you can see. And it also adds some machining operation here as well. If I wanted to change this machining operation, I, can, I have this Swoot Box feature that has been added. I will right click on it edit it, and then I have my all my options that are available for me to change. So here I have things such as depth and diameter for the machining operations that is being generated. So I can choose the option of depth, let's say I want a depth of five millimeters, as well as the five millimeters on the left side, left and right, and when I click OK, see it reduces this machining operations as well. 
Now, on top of this, you can also add connectors for the panels as well. Usually, whenever you're working with different sets of panels, you would add connectors such as dowel pins, cam and bolt, and all of that are available by default in the SWOOD library, and they are being listed here. I can access the interface by going under insert connectors between two panels, and it will show me all the interferences where I can potentially add the connector. So I'm going to choose all of my interferences here. And now here I can choose what kind of connectors I would like to add. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose my dowel pin and I'm going to add a dowel pin of 8 by 30. I'm going to click OK. And you can see here it's showing me a preview of the dowel pin as well. And I click OK. And now it's going to add the dowel pin. And not only that, it also adds holes and machining operations into the panel as well. So let me show you what I mean by that. I can select any of these panels and open it up. And if I go closer to the face, here you can see that it has added a hole here as well to accommodate the dowel pin. And just like that, I'm able to create my assembly, which I can reuse afterwards in a, another assembly if I want. So, but that would be a topic of another video. This is Harpreet. Thanks for watching.